three or, or set number three we're going to go into, um, we're going to talk about the loan estimate. Okay, this is your first set of disclosures, your loan estimate. Um, estimate, you'll learn how to spell it, sorry. I only see it a million times a day. Okay, so for your loan estimate, we're going to take all the information from your application, uh, which includes the purchase and sales agreement, information about the property, and we're going to get that loan estimate. What we estimate the homeowner's insurance is, hopefully we have a quote by that time, um, taxes on the property, all that's included, proration, taxes, insurance, your down payment, the type of loan, um, and if any um, mortgage insurance is involved, that's all going to be on your loan estimate, all the title fees, all that stuff will be on there as well. Once you get that loan, once we get the loan estimate out to you, almost all the lenders today are using an electronic uh, disclosure process where it comes into your email. The first thing you can do is acknowledge the use of electronic uh, communication. So you'll acknowledge that. And then the loan estimate, you're just acknowledging it that you received it and you reviewed it, reviewed all the, all the cost in it. Remember, you want to add, this is your chance to ask questions. Acknowledge the estimate. Print it out, write all over it with your questions, and get back with your loan originator. Okay? You want to make sure all your information is right because the loan application will be part of your 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 disclosures, your initial disclosures within that loan estimate. Okay? So with that, you want to make sure they have the spelling of your name correct, your address correct, your social security number, and your date of birth. That information really needs to be corrected now if there's a problem. Okay? Some bad information on that can cause problems later on during underwriting. Or later on, if it's really not caught, um, a, a transposed number on your date of birth or your social security number can cause problems for you later on down the road applying for credit elsewhere. So you want to make sure that information is correct. Still acknowledge it so you can move forward. Inside your disclosures, inside your initial disclosures, okay, um, inside those initial disclosures along with your loan estimate is a thing called um, letter of intent, okay? So your, intent, your letter of intent. Okay, we want to know if you want to proceed with this loan. After you've seen that, you've got to sign that. This loan is frozen. No one can move forward until you acknowledge the loan estimate and, and you sign that. It's an electronic signature. You're going to acknowledge that. There's going to be a lot of other disclosures in there, uh, Equal Credit Opportunity Act stuff. They're going to make sure that you're, you understand your rules and rights to be treated fairly and honestly. So it's really important to understand that. But that loan, we're frozen in time until you acknowledge that. Again, don't be afraid to print out everything, have a physical copy, write all your questions on it. Get that acknowledged. Once you have that acknowledged, we can, and you sign that letter of intent, we can order the appraisal. Uh, the appraisal takes uh, anywhere from five to seven days, and sometimes, de depending on how busy the appraisers are, that could take up to 10 days. So this is a real trigger point. Also, a good loan originator, at that point, once you sign that letter of intent, they're gonna go ahead and order all the title work, all the title related work on that. So they're going to have all this building, they're going to clean up your file, they're going to clean up all your assets, they're going to go through all your bank statements, they're going to look at your deposits, they're going to look at everything. They're going to grab all the information from your tax returns in that and prep this whole file. So when this is all ready and it's everything, he's got a good package, the appraisal's in, they're getting ready for step four.